I don't like buying what I can't physically see and touch. I got COVID and I'm stuck at home. I'm having withdrawals from not being able to buy succulents that I finally tried online shopping. I prefer to buy my plants in person, but in these dire circumstances, a girl's got to do what a girl must do, buy succulents. This is my second online purchase and I am scared. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. Mix succulents. I've got the uh, Echeveria Sunset Peony or Peony, I don't know how you say it, and it's $90 and it's featuring two heads and it says you will receive the same plant or similar in the attached picture. So all the one, two, three, so I'm assuming now that I'll be getting this very same plant. Okay, so does it have little fungus? I don't know. So. Anyway, I am winging it because for $90 that is uh, quite inexpensive so I've already put it in my cart. I've got Peony Sunset and also Big Bang. This is now the date, okay, the 26th of January, Australia Day. So I got my total now, so $11.95 for postage. So now I got my box, finally. Quite exciting because this is my second online purchase. The first one is still coming, so I don't know if I'm able to get the first one or upload the video of the first one before the second one, but this is my second online purchase. So I haven't bought any succulents before online except this week. So in one week, I've gone on a shopping spree online, but oops, see I hit my little camera. Oh, look at that. So we got Mix Succulent. And it says, thank you. Your purchase through Mix Succulent is helping to support our dream, our family, and so much more. It is truly appreciated. To be honest, it has made our day. We hope these plans make your day too. Thanks again. Oh, isn't that nice? It's actually a really nice design. Beautiful card. Now, am I going to be disappointed? Okay, I'm, I keep hitting my camera, so it's just wobbling. Now, I'm going to have to move away a little bit. We can compost this paper. Ionium Big Bang is the first one. So this one, I remember this is probably about four years ago or five years ago when Big Bang came out. It was like, along with the Mardi Gras, I think Big Bang was about $400 or $500 a plant. One plant. So excellent. Look at that. Nice label. And it's even got my purchase number. I mean, my invoice number or order number. This is exciting. Are you excited? I'm sort of like expecting the worst because I like buying plants in person. So I don't know what I'm going to get with, with online shopping. And it feels like it's got some roots, which is what I like. <gasps> okay. Hello. This is very exciting. Oh, look at that. It is black. So this Big Bang, Ionian Big Bang, and it's got some soil. We're going to get straight onto this now that I've got this. So with Ionium, it doesn't really matter. I don't need to remove this. I'm just inspecting it. So it's been grown on, uh, I look at, I'm looking at potting mix and it's got fertilizer and perlite. Yep, it's perlite. So that's good enough. And look at that. Oh. Gorgeous. I love the blackness. See, so now this is $10. So I paid $10 for this. So I'm just going to dunk this in my soil wherever. So this dry roots look straight away. It's already hydrated. You can see that the soil has softened up. So this is what the soil wetter does. Okay, so I could leave it there. Look, nice, fresh roots sticking out can you see that they're the white bit so which means it's been growing and dried so while we're at this i'm just gonna pot this up so this is just my master succulent soil mix and 
It's just gonna feel my way through and I'm gonna measure this just enough to cover the roots basically. So I'm just going down. Yep, that's it. That's it and cover it up. It's as simple as that. So this just helps stabilize the plant so it doesn't flip flop all over the place. There you go. So I'm just gonna let that settle down there and enjoy its new home. So anyway, beautiful Big Bang. Because the next one I've got is my Echeveria Sunset Peony. Peony or Peony or Peony. Anyway, I've been after this plant for a while and I never thought I would find or I will get it here because it's always too expensive. And I set myself a limit of how much I'm gonna spend on one plant. So, but this one is two plants. And so, if you've already seen the photo, now I wonder if it's exactly the same plant. We're gonna find out. <gasps> oh my goodness, it is huge. I didn't expect that. Wow. Wow, look at that. It's not that beautiful. It's big. I thought it's only some small thing. <laughs> I thought it's gonna be peeny. <laughs> and this is big, so I'm very happy. So it is what it is on as depicted. So I'm just removing, I'm just removing all the dry leaves. And that one there, that's all right. So this one, because the leaves is thin, I don't know it if it will propagate from a leaf. But now with this one, I don't bother cleaning anymore. So I just use the same, well, the soil will be in it. You can't, um, I don't really bother washing it all off unless I can see that there's something wrong with the plant. And if I inspect it, look at that. It's just beautiful. doesn't have any... Uh, although it's kind of green and that's understandable because we haven't been seeing the sun lately. So anyway, this peony rose, when the photos that I've seen online, it's that really, really bright yellow edges. And so this is not the same plant that's on the photo. So I wonder if they actually grow double heads. So this is two plants, but I am not going to separate them. I was going to separate them, but then I decided I'm just going to leave it because... That looks really, really good. So it would be good if I could propagate it. Probably I will in a few days. But for now, I'm just going to soak this or dunk it. Not really soak it, dunk it and repot it. The soil wetter as well, it sort of gives them a little bit of tonic saying to them, it's okay, everything's fine. So this one is planted in coconut coir as well. So I can see a bit of coconut coir in there and perlite so it's almost the same soil i'm going to be using for this but for now you can just dunk in there the pot i'm going to be using is this blue pot here and the bottom doesn't have any feet so i'm going to stick some feet on it the rocks just help settle the bottom so the mess doesn't move around. And also helps the soil to settle around the bottom of the pot. So the roots, just going to spread it out. So I'm actually using my tropical soil mix in this case because we've been having so much rain lately. It's not really good for my succulents to have the master succulent soil mix unless it's in a small pot where it can dry up or drain up really quickly. But in this case, the pot is quite large, so I don't want the plant to be sitting on water for long periods of time. So I need something 
that will dry up really quick but also uh, when I water it, it gets watered easily and so I'm just tapping it around to settle it in and I'm just gonna put granite dressing to keep it in place there you go oh she's beautiful I'm so happy with her I didn't expect it to be this big I'm so happy thank you mix succulents thank you so much and I found uh, his website <laughs> because I watched one of his video so straight away I was like okay mix succulents they go check out what they have and the first page I hit was ready presented me with my sunset penis so I said that's it I'm buying it it's now 24 hours later my sunset peony is looking gorgeous it's a big plant I am really happy with this plant thank you mix succulent and this one as well the big bang big bang I shown hubby this plant and he loves the ionium Zvachkov or black rose and he said you already have that <laughs> I'm really surprised that he's remembering all these succulents as well. So anyway, before the only plant he knows is flapjack. That's it. That's the only plant he knows, the flapjack before, but now he's become an expert on succulents. So now I'm just going to water this one. This is just plain water. So with this soil mix I'm using on my sunset peony because I saw a bit of, or noticed a bit of, the softness in the leaves, that's the reason why I'm watering it. And we're going to drown it. Oh, here, yeah, that one there. So it's like really flippy, floppy, really uh, needs water. <laughs> really, really dry. So now I'm just going to soak it. I'm going to water that a bit more. So let's just, that's just initiation or the initial watering. And then I'm going to continue with that later on. So anyway guys, that's it. So I'm very happy with my second online purchase. It might only be two succulents here, but there's going to be more coming. I'm going to be doing a lot more unboxing and more plant haul online. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you, well hope to see you on my next video. Bye bye.